Expect to pay more for food. Farmers and ranchers across Texas knocked out of the ring by the storm. Cattle and crops killed. Millions of dollars of milk gone to waste. Texas farmers big and small who were surviving during the pandemic might not make it after this storm. The 19's Patty Santos reports. This was Cody Scott's East Bear County tomato greenhouse a week ago. Lush, 15 foot tall organic plants. This is it now. These are all the tomato plants that we had and they're just they're like mush now. So we're we have to pull them out of here by hand. The Green Bear Farm owner lost all 2,800 plants. We lost 90% of our, our income. We have zero income for the next two months. The small business owner borrowed heaters and hauled in plants into his home, but in the end, the power outage took him out. We should have been uh, a priority uh, as far as keeping the electricity on. Um, you know, we feed the community. Um, you know, thousands of people. Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller agrees. Prices are going to skyrocket. He says ranchers, chicken farmers, dairy plants, and citrus growers were left without power, and it'll cost over a billion dollars in loss. We're going to have some dairymen that can't get through this. Uh, they're going to declare bankruptcy. We'll have even a larger number of our citrus farmers go out of business. They, they, they were borderline anyway. It's expected to be weeks before shelves at grocery stores and food banks are stocked. In times when consumers can least afford it, they're going to pay record prices uh, for their groceries. Help for farmers without crop insurance is scarce. Scott says farming is stressful, but he's not ready to give up. We can get through this. We can get through anything. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The Texas Department of Agriculture has a star fund. It's funded by private donations and helps farmers who experience a disaster. You could read more about this and how to help local farmers on our website, ksat.com, and they can use the help.